Hatfield McCoy's Mike Pinkerton drew the short straw. What are you cooking? Not only is he making breakfast for the entire group. This is some nasty coffee. Country cooking. But he also has to sleep in the same room as his buddy Jeff. <laughs> we had to give Jeff a little bit of room this morning for his snore to give him some space. Was it pretty bad? Yeah, the snoring was, was a little rough last night. Well, probably so. <laughs> so you slept out here? Yeah, I slept out here. Let's hope our ride isn't as bad. Hatfield McCoy is located in southern West Virginia. Our plan on this trip is to ride the Indian Ridge Trail and Pinnacle Trail. All we need is a pass. These fine young gentlemen like to go trail riding. So what we're looking at here is a map of the Indian Ridge Trail system, and this is the trailhead. We're gonna be riding out of the Ashland Resort Campground. We're gonna take Trail 12. Got some of our new gear here this year. Anybody needs to fuel up, I got an open ticket on Hatfield McCoy. <laughs> Mike, I don't know what your limit is, but you best top off the tanks because we plan to ride all day. In this part of West Virginia, at the Indian Ridge Trail, you've got a lot of hardwoods, very thick canopy, so when you're in the middle of the trails, it's like it's almost dark in the middle of the daytime. Okay, we got a little bit of general trail riding to warm up. We got a little bit of mud. Now we're covered and we're soaking wet, we're gonna go out and check out an overlook. All right, Jeff, now it's your turn to drive, buddy. So this is one of the few scenic overlooks here at Indian Ridge. You know, Indian Ridge is probably known most for the thick canopy. It's not bad, huh? All these ridges in front of us are trails. Pinnacle Creek Trails opened in 2004. Indian Ridge opened in 2007. And then in 2010, we opened the Connector. It gives us the opportunity to go from Indian Ridge to Pinnacle Creek it makes for an adventure. 200 plus miles of trails, all accessible from the Ashland Campground. At the Ashland Campground, you can ride right out of your cabin, right onto the trails. It's uh, literally just a few hundred feet from your cabin. The camp is just uh, a few steps over to our right, and the trail access just a few steps to our left. Mike, Jeff, and the guys will stay tonight at the campground three plus million dollar operation here with the campground. I would say around 40 cabins altogether. We love it. We come every year. It's our vacation of choice. <laughs> so what's on the grill tonight? Corn and steak. They smell great. Eat up boys, cause tomorrow is gonna be another big day. We're gonna get plenty of uh, dirt and mud uh, out on the trails, so we're going to see lots of that and uh, hopefully get this new razor muddy. All right. That's how you do it right there. Hey, we've got a little bit of breakfast here for you all. Dig in. Here's the deal. We're going to head off from Ashland Resort here. 
We're going to take the trail connector that's right next to the resort. We're going to go out and play around on the Indian Ridge Trail system for a while, show you guys what it's like. We're going to take the connector from Indian Ridge over to Pinnacle Creek, show you the differences between the two trail systems. Each trail system has its own unique identity. Once you get on the Pinnacle side, you can really tell that you're in a different trail system in a different place because the look changes completely. It has a lot more evergreen, a lot of rhododendrons, really bushy blossoms, and they're really beautiful. But they're all the same in terms of having different types of riding. So you can go to any one of the Hatfield McCoy trails and get easiest, more difficult, most difficult, and single track riding. Because we've got Mike along for the ride, you know we're going to see some stuff most people don't know about. You know, people see waterfalls all the time, but it's not very typical that you see one that comes right out of the mountains. Now, actually, this isn't even on the trail. That's why I said you can find some of these out here, but you won't find this one unless you know where it's at. This is kind of like a secret spot. This is, yeah, this is a little secret spot. You're not supposed to be able to see me. I'm in my imaginary bathroom here. Just studying the map, buddy. I don't know exactly how the toilet got out on the trails, but it does make for uh, an interesting backdrop. It's just a uh, prop. It's not an actual usable toilet. It's funny. I think it's probably one of the more photographed places in the area. Well, don't mind me. Just uh, doing a little studying here. <laughs> well, the toilet's actually not marked on the connector. You got to come out here to find it, but it's not too hard to find. Feels pretty good. If you leave out of Ashland Campground, it's a nice ride. It's got a lot of tight, twisting turns in it. The scenery changes throughout your ride. A lot of ridge riding. I mean, people can come and stay for a day or two where they can make a couple week long trip out of this ride. How'd that feel? It was a little wet. Cool and refreshing, man. That's awesome. I mean, we're literally driving right through the middle of the clouds. We're on the top of this mountain right here, and the, the clouds are just flying right through the trees. Yeah, you're about 2,000 to 2,600 here in this part of the state. You get the right day for it, and you can be up on the ridge tops, literally driving through the clouds. Is this the very peak of it right here? Yeah, this is it. This is one of my favorite spots on the entire trail system. So after reaching the top of the mountain, we decided to make camp at River Expeditions. It's a great place for whitewater rafting, all kinds of different outdoor adventures, zip lining, rappelling, paintball, they have it here. At Hatfield McCoy Trails in West Virginia, you can ride and ride and ride. The Hatfield McCoy Trail System is 500 miles of trails in southern West Virginia. It's actually the largest motorized trail system on the East Coast. We've spent the last couple of days with Hatfield's Mike Pinkerton and some of his closest friends. We have lots of great people that are involved with Hatfield McCoy Trails. Jeff's one of them. He likes to come out and enjoy getting out on the trails with us. <laughs> Jeff owns the Big Bear and Baby Bear Lodges. We cater mostly to trail riders. After two full days of riding, it's time to crank it up a bit. Today is opening day on the Golly, the number one class five whitewater rafting river in North America. And gully season is special here in West Virginia. 
It's the time where they release water out of the Summersville Dam. Oh. It's very steep drops, very popular. People come from all over the world to raft the golly. Uh, the upper golly, the best way I can describe it, it's like the nature's greatest roller coaster. Guys, are you ready? Because here we go. We were hitting some massive class four, class five rapids, some five plus rapids actually while we were out there. We lost five people in our raft one time. I didn't fall out. I did a backflip and uh, three quarters of my body was in the water, but I pulled it back in and I saved it. Everybody swim this way. <laughs> Jeff. Did you fall in? No, I jumped in just to help everything out, get everybody's fear of the water over with, you know? If the white water didn't fix your need for excitement, and then put your arm through here, it's time to fly. I feel like this needs to be tightened. Feel like a horse on ready to ride. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my comments to myself on this. So here's the deal with zip lining. Not a big fan of heights. Really don't mind being up high. It's the falling that gets me. <laughs> Hit that board, knew I was back on land. Exhilarating. I loved it. It was great. Very much relieved. Still scared. <laughs> That's the next one right there. I don't like heights. Never been more scared in my entire life. Nothing to it. Ah! <laughs> nice. I thought I was gonna hit a tree. Man, you guys come flying in there. Hundreds of miles of trails, a world-class whitewater trip, and a zip line to boot. Now that's what I'm talking about. West Virginia is a state that's got it all when you're looking for outdoor adventure. 